It's been another great year in all. We've celebrated the new, the old and the new from the dedication of a commemorative plaque in the city's oldest park, Felton Little, to the opening of our newly renovated soccer complex. We've seen small businesses open throughout the town over the past year, contributing to our healthy local economy. The Auburn Chamber hosted 66 ribbon cuttings over the last 12 months, with some of those happening in the heart of our city, where we've seen new boutiques and restaurants open their doors. We welcomed a new urban format Target this summer, adding to our downtown grocery and shopping scene. And very soon, we will celebrate the opening of Lululemon on the first floor of the Standard. These additions to our community help further our goal of bringing quality amenities and walkable environments for our residents and visitors. We've continued to focus on infrastructure. As you've seen along Martin Luther King Drive and downtown near the intersections of Sanford Avenue and College and Gay Streets. Soon we will celebrate the opening of Will Beekner Parkway, named in honor of Auburn's fallen police officer so that we never forget his sacrifice. In April, we welcome Bucky's to Auburn, the excitement not only of the community, but of I-85 travelers throughout the region. Located on exit 50 on Cox Road, this larger than life travel center brings new visitors and new revenue to Auburn every day. On a personal note, since we last gathered for this event, I have been promoted to the rank of grandfather. <laughs> Pretty good. If there's anything that welcoming a granddaughter into the world has shown me, it's the importance of leaving this place better than we found it. The importance of building a future for the next generation. We've talked a lot about numbers tonight. We've talked a lot about budgets and projects and plans, but everything I've told you tonight comes down to people. It's been about excellent public servants and their hard work. It's been about passionate residents providing the input that we need to set the direction of those services. It's been about partnerships, not between institutions, but between people. It's people that make Auburn great, plain and simple. Each year, we had the privilege of coming together for the state of the city, and I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time tonight to be here.